thank you for this debate. It's about time that we are talking again about climate change. But I think a lot of people who are here now are getting a bit of tired that people are saying, oh, we want to thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for telling us. They don't want thanks. They want action. They want politicians to act. Ten years ago, I went into this European Parliament coming from science, going into politics because I noticed that politicians are not acting. And I thought it's going, it's about time that they start acting. And sorry, Commissioner, sorry, Council, you only were talking about 2050. If I follow all those marches on the street, the last time I checked, I didn't see any ask, we want a 2050 vision. All the asks are, we want action now. We need to do more as Europe. We need to step our ambitions now. And what we hear is only, we are going to talk about a long-term strategy. Mr. Liese is even saying, let's do first a long-term strategy. Don't talk too much about action, because maybe that will shake up some countries. That's the purpose. We're talking about a climate crisis here. We are talking about action that needs to be done. As one of the slogans is, if climate would have been a bank, it would have been safe by now. So it's about time also really that we need to do more. And I think this is really what we can see is the climate marches we see on the streets. Not only the strikes from the youth, but also the big marches. Last Sunday in Amsterdam, 40,000 people on the street. In Brussels, two times 70,000 people. People on the streets asking for more action. That is a social movement. A social movement that we should not let down. They are calling on Europe to do more. And if you want to talk about the future of Europe, this is about the future of Europe. The future of Europe is green jobs. And that is another comment to my dear colleague of Peter Liese. When you are talking about future jobs, you should talk about the green transition. Other regions in the world, <laughs> other regions in the world are moving, are investing. Look at California, but also look at the solar investments in India. Look at the electric transportation in China. They are moving. Your German car industry is investing more in electric transportation in China than in Germany. And that's because there they do policies and not in Germany. So we need to step up and we need to do action. And we only, don't only need to talk about targets. And by the way, it's good that people are getting annoyed because this is the debate, right? Because everyone is always talking that we do the same and we all have the same targets. But this shows we don't. Because if we go beyond the targets, then suddenly you see that the vested interest of the fossil industry is still hugely protected by this side of the parliament. As my colleague, as my colleague said, on finances, we still only try to say, OK, don't talk about the negative impact of our financing. Only talk about a little green corner. On agriculture, we don't manage to really make sure that agriculture becomes green. On transportation, we are still lagging behind on new and future transportation. And on climate proofing of all our investments, we're not delivering. We really need to step up. Tomorrow is our first vote for higher targets. But after that, these elections, these European elections will be about climate, about real action, because it's time to act instead of talking. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Good.